a glorious Saturday. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am ready to go and see Georgie uh, performing in her ballet show. This is my outfit. So these are the trousers that I bought from Zara and the top. I took off the, the belt that came with them, which was kind of a, what's the material like that? Kind of woven type of material. Anyway, I added my Gucci belt. I have my Chanel walk and I have my ballerina flaps. Also, I have my own nails. I took off the acrylics in the way that you shouldn't take them off basically just pulled them off and I now have my own nails and on them I have Chanel Pirate on them the old classic red from Chanel there we go not bad so I had acrylics on for about a year I've also got my Chanel lipstick on um, you know that very expensive one can't remember what it's called but that one and I can't show you what's in my walk because I've done my nails so this is the carry on when you paint your own nails you know it's the last thing you do before you leave to make sure it's perfect but then you have to watch you don't smudge it you know the carry on anyway Rico's been building the garden furniture he's built all the chairs but he's encountered a problem with the table so he needs his ordered new parts so hopefully they come oh we need to go this way hopefully they come very very soon Rico's not coming with us he's uh, cooking today he's got a, a steak meal or something of those that sorts to do so yeah there's always a choice in life Rico. depends what you choose anyway hello and welcome to the um it's uh, is it June? It's June! Second. Yesterday was the 1st of June then you never said to anybody hello Mina. Huh. I never even said hello and welcome to the 1st of June yesterday. Okay. Was, hello and welcome to the 2nd of June. <laughs> hello and welcome to the 2nd of June. I didn't say that. I vlogged an outfit. Did I not vlog anything? Yes, I need to check back. I can't remember. Anyway. Welcome to the 2nd of June. I am ready to go to the garden centre. We are going to what we call down to the valley. Yep. Is that correct? We are going down to the valley. Um, that's where all the garden centres are. That's where the old folk hang out, basically. <laughs> like Rico. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go and finish off getting whatever bedding plants we want because we couldn't really get any from the local kind of do-it-yourself shops. So... We're going to a proper garden centre, is what we're going to do today. Anyway, so I thought I'd turn on the camera and do a quick outfit. Continuing to shop my wardrobe. Shirt from Primark. Old, very, very, very old trousers from Karen Millen. They're kind of low-waisted. They're so old. Mm. There we go, but at least I can still fit into them. And I have me a Gucci trainers on. And bag is a Louis V great bag absolutely love this bag Rico thanks well what was it you said to me how much was that bag and I said to him I can't remember but anyway it was well well under <laughs> oh I'm not even seeing numbers people it just does mean but he was like oh, what a load of rubbish <laughs> he's not impressed with the raffia oh Rico are you Rico no, no. so this is my Louis V in the valley just what half a half a mile away Rico do you see from where we're going Where we got our Christmas tree from in here. Oh, that right there, Rico. Beautiful. Yeah, no, it's fine. Get some steps in. I've got an amazing choice in here. Yeah. yeah. Are they trailing or upright? Okay, I had a choice here either to edit this footage out because of the background music or just share these beautiful plants with you and I decided it was worth sharing would you agree let me know down in the comments if I chose to do the right thing but 
just wanted to show the variety of beautiful plants that this garden centre had. Talking about the corner of the garden, putting something with a seat and a roof, this is what I was referring to, one of these. So I've taken the uh, measurements and we'll see. Right, this is... All right, so we've got some. We've got dahlias. Oh, it's still morning in the background. I'm speaking really cool. Just put them up here. So we've got dahlias. We've got African marigolds. Um, yellow and orange. We've got some double begonias. Beautiful. Yellow and red. We've got some petunias. Purple. And... We've got some white. Is that white? Did we get white petunias? That's white. Yes. Sophia. Trailing. They're trailing. Did you know that? Yeah, the white ones. Yeah, I knew, I knew that. Yeah. Right, trailing. Four of them. That one oh, that's right. That I know that looks yellow. But it's not it's white. See, it's better be. Same as that. See, white. Okay, so that's for these pots here. I'm gonna put one in each. Trailing, so that's trailing. There'll be a trailing petunia as well on the other side. Right. So that's what we picked up. We're happy, aren't we, Lily? And I said to Rico before we left, let's take we'll take Lily, and he was like, no, 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 they don't let Lily in. He just makes these things up, honestly. I'm nibbling on nuts. Just makes these things up because there was lots of people there with their dogs. Anyway, so she'll definitely be going next time. I told her next time we're going to go and take you. We're going to go just to take you, Lily. Is what I said to her. Right. I'm going to go upstairs. I had a coffee somewhere over there. Right, Lily, you coming in? Coming in. So. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you the nail things that I bought because I don't think I showed you that and I've been feeling so 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 tired I'm telling you it's a great bag <laughs> um cheers by the way and I don't know if I've just overdone it with the gym but this morning I had a little lie-in yeah, so I was saying, I was, I've just been so exhausted. Um, my body this morning was saying, you're not going anywhere. So I slept until nine o'clock oh, and I loved it. But I've been having to push myself, really push myself. Anything that I'm doing, it's been a push today. But, you know, I have hoovered, done a quick hoovering of the house, cleaned the bathroom, you know, my usual things. And um, went to the garden centre. So... Let me share it with you what I bought for my nails to try and strengthen them. But I'm really enjoying not having the acrylics on. Just enjoying having my own nails back. And they're actually an alright length. You know, I think I just got fed up with that long fake look. So, and you know, I love them. For the year that I had them on, I love them. So, I got the Essie Apricot Nail and Cuticle Oil to nourish them but I'm you I'm, I mean my fingers are in castor oil all the time because I use castor oil a lot on my face I actually yesterday and today I did my eye serum and went in with my castor oil after that so I always leave a bit of time in between each layer to soak in and then because I didn't do castor oil last night, I did the CeraVe night cream last night. Because remember, I like to change things up. I don't like to keep using the same things. I like to change things up. And I did my castor oil when I got up yesterday. And I did my red light therapy when I got up yesterday. I normally do it at night time. But anyway, so I didn't do castor oil last night because I had already done it. So I just did my CeraVe night cream. So this morning... I did the serum, the eye cream, and then I went in with my castor oil. Let that really sink in well. So I got on with the hoovering, got on with everything that I had to do. 
and then went in with my day cream my CeraVe day cream because it has my SPF in it as well let that soak in and then I went in with my foundation and everything and I, I like it because my skin's got a nice glow to it so honestly I've really I've been seeing this for ages but whatever I am doing just now is really really working for my skin I just you know when you just look at your skin and you go I'm you know it's I've really been enjoying the way it, it has been so but I do believe it's a combination of everything that I'm doing and everybody's skin stuff and I just think what I'm doing for my age just now for my skin just now my skin's liking it and that's where you hit jackpot that's what you've got to find is finding what works for your own individual skin so yeah i mean i still use my estee lauder night repair but again i'm not using it every night but like i said i like to change things up okay I was talking about nails how did we go on oh that's right so the essie nail oil using that i'm using the essie top coat i've always raved about this i love it i've tried the dior top coat i know that's amazing gets very gloopy very quickly the dior one or at least it did when i was trying it this dries my nail varnish really really quick and it gives my nails a really really good shine to the point when my nails are healthy people ask where I get my nails done so the essay I think this retails for in boots it's about by the way boots overprices things totally overprices things so this is uh, I think it's 10 I think it's gone up to 10.99 but if you've been with me you know this is my favorite top coat so i brought a fresh one yesterday and i dropped it look but it's fine so this is like if i'm just touching up what i'm using this one for is because there's a bit left can you see but it's quite thick now so what i do is if i've got one nail so i fixed one nail today it was catching so I just instead of taking them all off i just fix that one i'll use i'll go in with that if i'm doing a set i'll go in with my new one so yeah gel couture uh essay top coat and then whatever color i'm using and at the moment i have on le Venise chanel and this is in the color pirate there we go so i'm excited now to tr you know put on all my different nail varnishes again but i was doing that with the acrylics anyway <laughs> with the gels i was peeling off the gel and using my own nail varnish but yeah i'm fine i mean i've seen lots of people when they pull the gels off like i did end up with no nails but mine have been absolutely fine and i've had to cut some of them down as well because it's just so they could all be a bit more of a length so my nails were really really fine they do feel strange they feel they're starting to feel better now but initially when you take the gels off they do feel ch strange your nails actually feel strange but this essay oh i didn't tell you and the strength thing one is the essay i went for the hard to resist advanced nail strengthener um and i went in with two coats with that and i do feel it strength it gives your nail some strength so two coats of that what I did is I went with the oil, let the oil sink in and all of that because my nails really needed oil. Let the oil sink in, then two coats of this, then the nail colour and then a coat of this. And now what I should be doing on a daily, I did do it today, is going with the oil on a daily. But like I said, my fingers are always in castor oil. Anyway, right, I'm going to sit and try and film another video just now. That was my little warm up, chatting to the camera. <laughs> so do you want to also see what i put in my bag today for just running out so i had these glasses on because i oh let's take all over them now because i felt they went with the outfit and my little mini pochette with me and in there just because it was there but it's not the lipstick i have on it's my passion chanel 
uh, Allure Passion is what I have on my lips and that's one that I'm having to scrape out but I put that in if I needed to touch up my little mirror my little nail file which I am loving for my nails now it's really really lovely Estee Lauder double wear in the colour red and a little sanitizer and a little bag hook and I like that one because it's easy to carry when you've not got much space so and then oh I've got my lip brush in there as well and my phone and my purse my Chanel coin purse and my battery is flashing and in here I have my battery just so I can find it quickly there we go so that's what I, I took with me today by the way random question <laughs> It just came to me. Things just come to me and I have to ask you. We were having this conversation at the gym with the girls and we asked each other this question and I'm going to ask you this question. Did your mum ever wear denims? Or does your mum wear jeans, denims? Because we, like the three of us, it was three of us discussing this and thinking back so there's me who is 59, my other friend there is 63 and my other friend that I work out with is 49. She's going to be 50 this year. And the three of us all answered no to that. We all and I know this is random, it's a random question but I've been meaning to ask you, did your mum or does your mum wear jeans, denims, as in jean trousers? Interesting. My mum never did, so it's a no from me. I cannot ever remember my mum wearing denim trousers. Never. She wore miniskirts when she was younger. Denim trousers, no. So, down in the comments, yes, no, and put the uh, jean emoji as well, just so I know you're still watching. <laughs> okay, so I think the biggest mistake that we make as women maybe not just women no as people is we dress to please everybody else and not ourselves and for example we may put on a pair of jeans and a top because it's safe we need to stop dressing safe we need to stop dressing for our age because that does not exist we need to start dressing with clothes that make us feel good and this is what I always say if anybody ever asks me advice do you feel good in it does it make you feel happy when you see yourself without thinking about what everybody else thinks that's where I think that's where a lot of people go wrong they look at themselves and think do you know this looks really good on me I really like this this really excites me but what's so and so gonna think what if I'm overdressed what if I shouldn't really be wearing a high heel what if it's not trainer appropriate have should I really be wearing a red lipstick stop stop the overthinking if you're looking at yourself you feel comfortable and you think I look good you wear it do not overthink it do not wear things do not wear clothes for other people i think that's the biggest mistake we make i've seen that more recently happen somebody asked me advice of what to wear and i said i think this dress looks amazing on you and they then reverted back to wearing what made them feel safe jeans and a top and I said Bill you're wearing jeans all the time this is an occasion why not change it up that dress looks amazing that person felt amazing after they went to the occasion that they had to go to didn't play it safe wore what actually they felt good in and at the end of the night I got a message to say I felt really pretty tonight and that's the thing, you know, that if that person had worn those pair of jeans, they would have blended in, yes. 
they wouldn't have looked different or stood out there is nothing wrong with standing out it's okay to dress up i mean i will i will wear a red lipstick doesn't matter where at people you know of course there's a time and a place you know you're not gonna there's respect you know like funerals there's respect people that you need to kind of dress for the occasion properly especially in our greek culture you know in our greek culture you're supposed to wear black you're not really supposed to be wearing red lipstick and all of that I'm talking of which i remember somebody turning up to my mum's funeral wearing a red jumper and I thought that was totally and utterly respectful because it's not in our culture and this was in Cyprus to do so. To me, that's like slapping somebody in the face. You do not do that. It's respecting the occasion, right? But dressing for yourself. And that's what I'm saying here. And that, I think that's the biggest mistake we make. We live our life dressing for everybody else in the sense that we should have we should be approved by everybody else and I think I think that's a big mistake we make never ever worry about what everybody else thinks if you look that image in the mirror and you go that looks good on me it looks good on you I feel good in this then that's what you would never dress safely it's not an option to dress safely I see a lot of people around at my age group and they dress a certain way and especially here on YouTube and I'm like I, I just wouldn't wear that I just I'm not ready to wear that yet and I'm in the minority I'm in the minority. I would say there's fewer people that dress like me at my age group than there is of people dressing appropriately for your age. Just like to add here, if that's what you feel comfortable in, that's what I'm saying here. If you feel comfortable dressing a certain way, whether it's the way that I would think is not what I would wear, that's fine because that's your personality and that's what you should wear this is the point I'm making here dress in what makes you happy what is it we say here in the luxury community makes your heart sing <laughs> I've never heard my heart singing but you know what I mean dress for you and for nobody else else that's what you must always remember always dress for you and what makes you feel happy what makes you feel good and at the end of the day you go I felt good in what I had on today sometimes doesn't mean you have to be comfortable you know like high heels and all that but if it's making your outfit look good go with it life is too short to play it safe hello my people welcome to the 4th of June <laughs> I've got a little Aldi haul for you to share with you. I'm just tidying things away because I'm also making this flatbread that was that I saw on Instagram using cottage cheese and eggs. So I'm gonna give it a try. Right, my babies are coming from Milton Keynes on Friday. So Kelly and Costa have got a wedding on Friday. So I'll have I'm actually going to have the, all my grandchildren doing, so George is going to come and do an overnight with Anna as well whilst Kelly and Costa are at the wedding right so you're going to see things that you wouldn't normally see these days in my Aldi hauls because we don't eat this stuff but talking of which there was a thing on the news just now about um, younger people now let's go this way that's better younger people but um more cancers being found in younger people and they're putting it down to over processed food what have i been seeing for years people what have i been seeing but anyway let me show you here we go so we have a nice golden wonder fully flavored multi-pack of crisps 
five sausage and tomato, five cheese and onion, five roast chicken and five smoky bacon because the kids love crisps. Oh, I was wondering what that was, Lily. Kids love crisps. I don't eat crisps. Very rarely. I'll nibble one just for old time's sake. I've got some, remember we need to be careful with Anna because she has a, oh, do you like the nails by the way? Mm -hmm. See, you're going to be seeing me with different colours all the time again. Um, she Remember she has a nut allergy. So got some wafer bars and some twirls. Got some Haribo mini mixies and I got some tea cakes because Anna and Theo, especially Kelly, love these. Um, and I don't think they can get them down south. So I got that. I got some little treats for Lily, which she's already had some. And I picked up salmon for today's dinner and salad. Onions, tomatoes, lettuce, celery, um, rocket, peppers, and more tomatoes, and a cucumber. Okay, so. Right here I have my flat bread mix, 8 ounces of cottage cheese, 2 large eggs, I don't know how much parmesan because it says tea parmesan, so that could mean anything, tea parmesan, so I just, I just judged it people, and it says Italian seasoning, so I just put oregano, garlic and black pepper and I've sprinkled a little bit of salt in there as well, and now I'm going to pour it here it's quite runny you're supposed to put it in a food processor but i couldn't be bothered so i just got my handheld mixer and it's still a bit lumpy you know because cottage cheese is but people i can't be bothered listen you know me and i'm gonna put it in here and bake it and i'll, I'll let you know if it's worth making so it is monday and i have been to the gym i've also got my bedding out my quilt and everything because our little Lily was a naughty girl last night. Lily's very demanding. She's a very spoiled dog. She loves the attention and if she feels somebody else is getting too much attention and she's not getting enough, she becomes a naughty girl. And her daddy was not very happy with her at all yesterday, last night. So yeah the bedding is out on a monday <laughs> which saves me doing it tomorrow and today's dry day because it looks as if we're gonna have rain the rest of the week right let's get this thing in the oven i hope it doesn't spill out that tray and i'll let you know what it's I've like i've read the recipe there again and it says um you're supposed to blend it for at least a minute until it's smooth which i didn't do because i rushed it <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not expecting this to be very successful and that's why I bought a second tub of cottage cheese because <laughs> I know what I'm like okay, it is out of the oven my people mmm feels alright I don't know what it's going to taste like probably like omelette I've been outside cutting peonies It's nice, but that I think. And if it needs cooked a wee bit more, it's not crunchy. So I'm saying, I wonder. But I can eat that. It's very cheesy. Mmm. Lethal. I can eat that. Okay. Here's my beautiful vase and my peonies. There we go, ready for my front window. There we go. And also the one at the kitchen window is all ready. There we go, is it focusing? There we go. It's actually yummy. See that? With a layer of avocado. Mmm. I don't know if I needed to leave it in longer. Because the one on the video looks crunchy. This isn't. Nice, very cheesy. Tastes like parmesan. Cheers. Right, let's get on with cleaning now. Because I've done everything but clean. So I'm going to have to rush through. And we Lily. I haven't even taken her out. 
Okay, we are in the garage. I'm going to do my plants because like I said the weather's not too great. So I am gonna wear gloves. These ones, Rico. These I was talking uh, about. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, they're quite thick. I prefer them. Oh, here. Take them. Have a pair here. Right. Okay. Just here is our new garden furniture. Which I think I did say on the vlog we've got a problem with the table, so we're waiting for the company to send us new parts. But that's that's it there. Right, let's do the ones in the back first. So these are going in the front. These are for the front. These are for the front. These are for the four pots. pots and then the trailing night sky petunia are these trailing petunias it tells you on it just says night sky no, petunia these are I think these ones are petunia trailing okay right they're not the purple ones are not, the white ones are. Right, let's so what, wait a minute, so these are for the four pots. The two purple ones are for those pots. Okay. And what are the four double begonias for? Two in each of those pots there. Two each? Yes, two in each of those two pots there. So we're putting two in over there, right? Okay. Yeah. So whilst editing, I realised that I ended the video abruptly. Here's the plants a week later. This is what they're looking like. There we go. All four pots and the double begonias in the pots here. Our weather has been awful. There we go. And the marigolds are in the front. They're all looking very beautiful at the moment. That's the coriander. Put it put it there because it's quite sunny. So yeah, that's what they're looking like. Go from the family and I, thank you very much for watching. I'll link a couple of videos on the screen for you and I would love for you to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!